Hi, my name is Marsha, I'm the blonde from Coding Milan, and today I want to talk about what programming language should you learn? I get this question all the time. What programming language should I learn? What programming language should I start with? So I decided to create a video to discuss my opinion in details and to share it with anyone who asks me that question again. And you guys watching this because I guess you're wondering the same question. And guess what? This video is brought to you by my free resource, a list of free coding courses where you can learn how to program. You can find all about it in my description. Whenever I hear that question, what programming languages should I start with or learn first, I want to respond with a bunch of questions myself such as what are you interested in? What do you want to do? What is your goal in learning how to code? What do you enjoy doing? Where do you see your career going? Are you interested in um, machine learning or data science or are you interested in doing front-end design or back-end working with uh, networks or databases? What are you interested in? What field would you like to go into? Because Programming languages are not necessarily the destination. Learning how to code is not the destination that you should be aiming for. It should be, what are you going to use this programming language for? So going even further than that, right? So what is your destination X? What is your goal? What are you trying to do? And then after that, kind of reverse engineer and see and do research on what programming language should you learn to get there. For anyone who is asking that question to themselves and to anybody else, take a step back, look at your career as a whole and think to yourself, what would you like to do? What would you uh, be interested in? What would you enjoy on a daily basis? Um, and then do more research on the project, uh, the field, the company, maybe, you know, if you know some people that you would love to um, follow their footsteps. <laughs> if you know some people that you'd like to, I don't wanna say copy their journey, but you know, follow their lead, research about their lives. What languages did they learn? What kind of pivots did they make? Basically figure out where you wanna go first and then see what programming language and which technologies uh, will take you there. So yes, this is my recommendation. And the reason why I'm stressing it so much is because I want you to find something that makes you happy, something that lets you enjoy your life every day and allows you to feel fulfilled, allows you to feel like you're having an impact because otherwise you are not enjoying a major proportion of your life. And what's the point in that? So for all the cynics who are now going, yes, but I want a high paying job. I don't care uh, about my fulfillment or impact or anything. Hear me out. An average person in the US will spend 90 hours, 90,000 hours, sorry, 90,000 hours of their lifetime working. That is around 10 consecutive years of pure work. That is a lot. <laughs> right? That is a really huge proportion of your life and you don't want to be unhappy. You want to be doing something that you enjoy. Unfortunately, there's also statistics and I don't remember the exact number. I've quoted it in a different video. There's a huge percentage of, again, American people who are super dissatisfied with their jobs. And a lot of the times it's because we go into this process thinking what makes sense? Uh, what would be the logical step? But we should be really thinking about what would make us happy first and then finding a way to get there. And there's always, especially in this modern society, there are always so many ways in which you can um, have multiple revenue streams while getting to your dream destination. And yes, there are some programming languages that are more popular and some programming languages that are more in demand or some um, jobs that pay more require certain skills, right? You can always research that, but I would honestly recommend approaching it from what do you want to do first and then figuring out how you can get there. Different programming languages are used for different things and solve 
different problems with different success rates and all of them have their pros and cons and I would really recommend researching more about the programming language and learning their fundamentals to really understand how they feel, what's the logic behind them and the syntax. Just like spoken languages, they have different rules and if you understand more or less what it's like to speak or write code with this language, it will be easier for you to understand whether you'll be able to enjoy it or not. So for that reason, I've created a list of free coding resources that you can use to learn the fundamentals of programming languages so that you can really feel what they feel like. And if you want to get that list, it's in my description, so scroll down and get it. But before you go off and start learning everything on that list, let's talk about some of the most popular programming languages out there and their applications, just so that you have an idea of how you would learn different languages for different things. All right, let's start with front-end development. For that, you need HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are the three musketeers of front-end development. Python can be used for web applications, data science, machine learning, AI, and all that good stuff. If you're hoping to do some Android development, then Java or Kotlin should be your pick. For iOS development, it's Swift or Objective-C. C Sharp would be great for developing Windows-based platforms, game development, and VR. And C++ can be used for software and game development. Again, these are very specialized. There are also uh, jack of all trades, like with JavaScript, you can uh, now program both front end and back end thanks to um, technologies like Node.js. So there are a lot of different things that you can do, uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate how specialized some of these languages can be. For example, again, Swift is for iOS development and um, for front end development, you need the three musketeers, as I said, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So the language you end up choosing will really depend on what you want to do. And I'll create a separate video going into details of some of the most popular programming languages out there right now. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification um, thing <laughs> so that you don't miss that video. So to summarize, there isn't one magical programming language that everybody should start with. You shouldn't learn a programming language just for the sake of learning it or to make a lot of money with it. And yes, while money and job opportunities are very important to consider, you should first consider what will make you happy, what will keep you excited, and what do you want to work on, what do you want to build in your lifetime. And then pick the languages that will get you there, do research on them, and try learning their fundamentals to really understand what it's like to uh, be working with them. And remember, you can always switch languages, even if you started learning one and then you realize that you don't enjoy it as much and you want to learn another one. It's much easier to learn more languages the more programming languages you know because you understand the logic behind them and sometimes the syntax will be similar. And in fact, if you are working in tech, there's a very high possibility that you will end up having to learn new languages to work on different projects that interest you. So don't think of this as the ultimate language, the only language you'll ever learn. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're just starting. So be open-minded, do research, and find out what makes you happy. I hope that was helpful. I know this is probably not the shortcut that you were hoping for, but you know, there are no shortcuts in life. And if you really truly want to be happy and feel fulfilled, this is what you should do. So I hope this was useful. And please let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. Please let me know if you have been on that journey searching for what interests you, what do you want to build, uh, what fulfills you, and if you found it. How did you find it? Did you try different things? Let me know in the comments. And like this video if you've enjoyed it, if you've learned something new. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not to miss that video on the programming languages 
breakdown and also just to see other videos that I'm creating because I'm I have quite a lot of good stuff coming your way um, very soon and you can also find me on other social media at Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.